I'm working on this right now. I just sprayed it with PB Blaster. And I'm gonna try and get this and this bolt off first. Before I started this project, all I knew was that there was rust here. I didn't know the extent of it, so I was opening everything up to examine. The examining process is always difficult because you don't know what you're gonna get yourself into. And in this situation, I couldn't get one bolt out and you know, little by little I realized the extent of the damage. We also have all of these. They're all bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bolts there. That bolt eight. That bolt nine. So I just wanted to talk about this for a minute. We got this bolt, this bolt are coming down. Just let me do it the same way. Let me put it back together. So it's taken me about an hour and I've gotten most of them out. The only bolt that is not out is this little bizatch. She does not want to go out. So I'm trying to decide what to do. I'll bring you upstairs for a moment. I've been in and out of this boat about, I'd say 30 maybe 40 times now but it's, um, it's this one which is rusted I think this is the one that was leaking as well and it is just not budging but I can budge the whole thing which is cool so I might try and work this back and forth and see see if I can't do something in that regard well, I am basically screwed. Look at this. All rust. That's all rust. feel like I could just hammer through it. Um, you can see all the layers of rust here. Very ugly. Honestly, I'm kind of scared to remove everything because I don't know how much this is actually supporting the boat from bowing outwards if i bash that and and get all the rust off will it be so weak that um the boat just splays open scary very scary this is this is the type of stuff i live for right here and it's exciting you never know what's gonna happen <laughs> But really, there is going to be a solution. We've got to find a solution. I knew the rust was bad. I didn't know it was this bad. Well, it doesn't look as bad on this side. I decided to start examining a bit more of the metal and uh, seeing if it traveled anywhere else besides where I found it above the mast step. Don't do it, Tim. Don't fucking do it. Cut it. Cut it peacefully. Cut it with peace. Ah, puta. I decided the only solution here is to make a big enough space that I can cut the square around the unit and um, make sure that I can actually access it and weld it when I need to. So I decided to just go ahead and cut all this out and um, I knew I was going to have to weld in a new piece so I need a lot of space for that anyways.
Wow. A lot of the wood in this area was pretty rotten. And I decided what I would do is I would cut it at two different angles on either side so that I can slip a piece in without um, affecting the structure of the piece too much. So I decided to wait to do the repair of this until I discover any more welding projects that I need to do. So until then, I'm going to leave you with this video. And as always, thanks for watching.